I'm in here in Defense, uh, Karachi, Pakistan, and I'm looking at a solar system on grid, 11 kilowatts, I believe. The the structure is elevated structure, so it's you can see a carport structure, and the carport structure here, it's um, most popular nowadays. It's more stable, more sturdy to deal with weather conditions, windy, harsh weather conditions here in Pakistan. Uh, of course, the solar panels here. There are 22, I believe. There are 11 solar panels in parallel. So 11 in parallel in this array, array one. The second array is 11, so that's 22. And then you have six, one, two, three, four, five, six in series, so that's 28. And from there you can estimate that each solar panel, I'll show you the power ratings of the solar panels. It's 395 watts per solar panel. So if you do the maths, it's gonna be, uh, I believe, around 11 kilowatts solar system with the elevated structure, the the elevated solar system structure. So as you can see, they left the gap for cleaning purposes and for the weather, the wind to uh, cross to 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 pass by. I'm gonna show you guys the inverter as well how it's designed as you can see the the, 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 the the elevated structure is bolted to the ground so it's more stable and secure to the it's used as a, uh, a cement you can say uh, you know five inch cement that is bolted to the ground and then they've used the the pole rod uh, one two three four five six seven seven pole mounted elevated structure for the solar systems, and I've, I believe they use a uh, they have used the polycrystalline sun power, 395 watts, 28 solar panels, which gives us around 11 kilowatts. And I'm going to show you the the uh, inverter in a few seconds. The inverter, Inverex Fronius, 10 kilowatts. Right now, it's producing 737 AC output power, uh, and it's connected using the you can say the AC and DC breakers. I'll show it to you in a second, so you can see it's uh, there's a smart meter showing you how much energy is being produced, import and export in kilowatt hours. You have the DC and AC breakers, 32 amps, and the Snyder electric uh, DC breakers. So th this is the board circuit breaker box. This is the inverter. The, I'll show you the specifications for that later on, but I believe it's around 10 kilowatts because the solar system is 11 kilowatts. So the solar system, which is 10 kilowatts, I believe, you know, comes up with a Inverex Fronius solar uh, solar inverter, 10 kilowatt, I believe, and this inverter right here, you can see from the picture I've taken, it is, I believe, imported, so it's a German manufactured solar inverter, which of course. I will show you these specifications in a second, but moving on, you can see there is a circuit breaker box compromised, consists of a smart meter. The smart meter showcases the import or export of the solar panels to the grid. It's a, it's a grid connected solar system. So as you can see right now, it shows the reading of two, uh, the 2895, 20,952 kilowatt hours, uh, give or take. So overall, from that, you can see on the right side, there's a Snyder electric DC circuit breaker of a maximum 400 volts. So uh, around there, you can see that, you know, for, that's for the solar panels, the DC circuit breakers. On the left, the valve trap uh, Phoenix contact so circuit breakers, that's the AC circuit breakers for the loads, I believe, you know, from the inverters to the loads. And on the further left, as you, as you uh, sorry, the, the 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 Phoenix contact. This is for the uh, the grid connected from the grid to the inverter and the inverter to the grid. So that's the input, the AC output, and the AC input of the inverter that goes to the uh, to the grid. So that's the circuit breakers for that. As you can see, it's rated at 40 kilo amps for each circuit breaker. There's four of them, and then moving on to the further left is the Miro MRO 32 amps circuit breaker for the loads for the AC output from the inverter to the loads. So that's the four AC circuit breakers. And then, of course, the uh, in solar inverter, the Fronius inverter, showcases the AC output power. At the moment, it, it was showing 828 watts. 
The reason for this is because the timing of this was recorded at around 6 p.m. in the evening. So therefore, the power generation from the solar panels showing you the AC output power is around 820 watts, which is very less uh, compared to having a higher output power at around maybe, you know, let's say 10 a.m. or 12 p.m. in the afternoon, which was very sunny. So it should be maybe more at least around to around you know, maybe 2,000 watt, 2,000 watts uh, or 3,000 watts during that time. But so far at that time, this is the reading shown. This is specifications of the Fronius inverter. You know, as you can see, this shows the model number, the part number, the serial number. Uh, you can see the safety class IP66. So there's these the specifications of that, the warranty and uh, the protection of that. And then moving on to the right side, you can see there's a UAC norm of 220 volts, 230 volts, 400 volts. Uh, it shows a voltage range, the normal conditions. There's a frequency AC 50 to 60 hertz. The grid connection, whether it's one phase or three phase, at the moment is three phase uh, connection. The current AC normal current connection 15.2 amps to 14.5 amps, and the maximum AC current is 20.0 amps. The apparent power maximum is is 10 kVA or 10,000 volt ampere, and the power maximum power at the cosine uh, power factor at one, the maximum power is 10 kilowatts, and the power factor, the cosine power factor at 0 0.90, is 9 kilowatts or 9,000 watts. And yeah, so as you can see, this is the Sun Power uh, 395 watts uh, solar panel, VMPP of 44.4 .4 volts, current IMP of 8.90 amps, open circuit voltage VOC 53.4 volts, short circuit current IC of 9.47 amps. Maximum series fuse, fuse built in of 18 amps. And yeah, the Sun Power is a great solar panel. It's polycrystalline, so as you can see from the video that I've recorded, I had the opportunity to visit at a defense phase eight in Pakistan where it's the solar system installed is a 11 kilowatt, around 10 kilowatt solar system. It uses a elevated carport structure which compromises of sun power solar panels rated at 395 watts, having a configuration or arrangement of 12 solar panels in series, along with 16 solar panels in parallel. Of course, they have, there's a gap in between these solar panels. You can see there's two up front and then four at the back. This is to allow the wind airflow to pass by the solar panels 